All right, hello and welcome to module eight, video two. All right, so let's continue. We're gonna uh, move away from the slides for now. So whatever you see on the screen is what I what I want you to write up and submit this homework. All right, so uh, with the Slack, configuring your hosts with Slack, you don't have to do anything. All you have to really do, well, you have to do something, is configure the default gateway with um, an LLC and a GUA, a link local address and a global unicast address, right? That's all you have to do. And the PC will pick up all the information and do what it needs to do to configure itself with an IPv6 address. All right, so now we're gonna talk about how to configure a DHCP server. So the DHC, uh, the Cisco router can be configured as three devices. It could be as a, as a server, it could be a client, and it could be a relay agent. So let's take each one separately. Let's take a, let's talk about the stateless DHCP ver, uh, version six configuration. Stateless. So on the server end, this is what you, exactly what you would type. This is an example of what you would type, and we'll get to the client in a second. All right. So what you need to do, as you probably already know and should know is to enable the, the, the router for IPv6, um, for IPv6, so you type in the command IPv6 space unicast-routing. All right, that will enable the router to do uh, dual stacking. It'll be able to process IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. All right, then you create IPv6 DACP pool. Here's the pool of addresses, right? And you say, here's the DNS server address. And here's the domain name. Simple. That's it. Stateless is just giving you the DNS server and the domain name. That's all it's going to do. Right? But now to enable the router, to give information, to, to let the host that there is a DACP server. So you go to the um, you go to the interface of the default gateway and you say IP DACP server pool to VLAN 10. So this Interface is your default gateway that's connected to the users. And then you enable it. So when it sends the RA information, it's going to tell it where I'll go. I'm going to give you information about your DNS server, right? Uh, that's it. So you're saying to the default gateway where all the users are, there is go, there, this is set up for a DACP. You're going to go and anybody come in, in and asking for information. We're going to give them this information in the, from the DHCP server of pool-vlan10. All right, so, and that's it. On the client side, all right, so what do you do? On the client side, that's connected to this server. So all you have to do is, uh, here you go. You just go IPv6 enable, you type in, right? If it's a router, by the way. If a router is a client, if you are a PC, you don't have to do anything, of course, right? But if, if there's another router that needs to grab an IP address, you just go to the interface of that router that's connected to the DHCP server, and you type IPv6 enable. This is will allow it to go and get the IP addresses and all the information it needs from the server, right? As a client, you don't have to do anything, of course, right? Um, you could type also IPv6 auto config on that interface. If you wanted to do that, it will do Slack. It will not, you know, just get the information from the uh, default, from the interface that it's communicating with and get the prefix and all the, everything that it needs to configure itself, right? The commands that you can use is show IPv6 interface brief. You could type show IPv6 DHCP interface gigabit 1010. All right, so that will also give you all the information that it needs to, to make sure that your device has been configured correctly. All right, now let's look at stateful DHCP version 6 configuration. Um, on the now, if you want to create a router as a DHCP, as a stateful DHCP version 6, here's what you need to do. These are the commands. These are examples, of course, right? So you enable IPv6 unicast-routing. 
and then you, you create a pool just like the state list and then you give it the you uh, assign it an ip address right and the d uh here's the uh, the ipv6 2001 blah 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 64 this is the network address here's the dns and here's the domain as you can see we do not assign the default gateway because that's automatic ffe right that's automatically done regardless if you are stateful stateless or just plain old slack right so this is the just like we did in ipv4 the first address is going to be one you know one two three and so on okay so that's that now you need to enable it you go to the interface and then you type ipv6 dacp pool right this is going to bind the interface to the pool so this is the default gateway that's connected to the switch where all the lan is right the the lan so you type this command so anybody coming in from this interface the default their default gateway they're going to be binded to this pool which means that you go to this pool to grab the ip addresses from right that's where because everybody's sourcing coming in from here so when you when they go to this pool they're going to grab an ip address from here whatever is available you know give them this prefix whatever a number you know the next available number give them the dns server and the domain name and so on all right and you gotta also on that interface you gotta enable that it's a stateful so when you, some, somebody comes in we're going to give them all that information no no slack nothing right and to do that you type ipv6 nd manage dash config dash flag that's the one that's going to set the m flag to one which means when people come in from this interface we're doing ipv6 configuration only all right we will do this in um in our class activity right we'll have a lot of fun doing that and we'll probably most likely do that also on the hands-on you'll get to play around with this also on our uh, physical equipment as well right all right so um if you could type ipv6 nd prefix default no dash config this is going to set the a from one to zero to inform the client <clears throat> not to use slack to create a uh, and to create a gui so that's <clears throat> i'm sorry the router will now respond to the stateful dhcp request with the information contained in the pool all right so you got to type this command as well all right this is to make sure that the a goes to zero so you got to type these two command two commands the ipv6 nd manage dash config dash flag you set the m to one and you got to reset a to zero to make sure <coughs> that you're using stateful so these two commands and right after the other will make sure that you are using a stateful dacp version 6 server on the client side, well, same thing. <clears throat> you can do this, type IPv6 enable. That will configure the LLA, okay? And uh, Cisco routers, that's good to know, will always use the EUI to configure their host, all right? <coughs> Excuse me. And if you remember the um, extended unified uh, identification, is where they use their MAC address and insert an FFE in the middle, right? FFFFFE and uh, flip the bit number seven, whatever it is. If it's zero, no, toggle it. If it's zero, it goes to one and one to zero. That's the UI to create their host ID. And then they'll send out a DAT, a duplicate address detection. Let's see if somebody else got it. R Cisco routers will always do that when you type IPv6 enable. All right, you type IPv6 at DHCP. <coughs> Excuse me. To use Slack, you can use the commands to double check and make sure everything is the way they're supposed to be. Hold on a second. Okay, so we're back. Uh, you can use the command show IPv6 DHCP pool. You see the pool of addresses that have been, uh, the pool of addresses, the the pool of the addresses that are going to be leased. Show IPv6 DACP binding. That's going to show the MAC addresses and the IP addresses that have been given out. 
All right, now let's talk about the cl uh, the relay. And here I want to explain to you what happened is your DHCP server is on the other side. When you send out a DHCP, you got to send out a relay just like an IPv4, remember? Right, type in an address. When the broadcast comes in, you can send it directly to the server. And to do that, you go to the interface G010 and you type in this command. Um, IPv6 DHCP relay, that's the, and this is your destination going out of this GPA, right? G00. So going from here, relay it to here. That's what it's saying. Okay, so it can go, this is where the DHCP server is. And that's it. All right. So please write, now you know how to configure DHCP version 6. You can, can stateful or stateless, and of course you can do um, Slack. All right, so please write all of this down and uh, submit them, and I will see you on the next chapter.